Now the first thing we need to do is add our active drawing to our project. So it's a right click on the project, add active drawing, yes to that, and that will update the terminal association, so we'll say yes to that. And then it's a right click on the drawing, properties, drawing properties, change that to our sequential 06 there, and OK it. So we've done the nitty gritty project management there, now we're going to look at swapping and updating blocks. Now if you right click here on the project and go to properties, here you have schematic libraries. If you click on the plus sign there, you'll see that we're using IEC2 and IEC2 one dash. They're the two libraries that contain all our blocks for all our components that we insert off of the icon menu. Now, what I'm going to do here is remove these two. So I'm going to remove this one here. I'm also going to remove this one here. Now, don't worry, you can obviously go and insert these again, but I'm now going to go to Add, and I'm going to go to Browse, and it will take me straight to the Library folder here. So I double-click on Libraries. I want IEC4. I'll OK that. That adds IEC4, and I move that up to the top there. I then go Add again, Browse, and underneath IEC4, I want the 1 dash as well. So I'll add that as well. Click on that and move that up to there like so. And I'll OK that now. So that has updated what actual library this project is using. So if I now go to the icon menu and I want to insert a relay or a contact, let's just go for a standard relay normally open like that. And I'll drop that in, let's say, there like that. And I'm just going to OK. I'm not going to add any information. It looks the same, doesn't it? It really does look the same. That's because these two IEC standards are very, very similar. But let's say that I change that back now, or perhaps let's just change the whole drawing. That would work as well. If I go up to the schematic tab here and go to edit components and then go here, swap and update block, I can do it drawing wide. Now this is fantastic because what I can do now is I can do a library swap that will substitute new versions for all blocks from the new library that I've added or I could just go for one at a time, drawing wide or project wide. But if I go for this one, library swap, that does everything in the active drawing. So it substitutes new versions for all blocks. So if I OK that now, you can see there it's going for IEC4 instead of IEC2. The insertion scale is 1 for IEC4. And what I'll do there, I want to retain the old block scale. Anything like that can be put in there as well. Yes, copy all old to new. And I'll only do that though in the active drawing. So if I click there, watch the drawing. Can you see them updating? And they're all a different size. Can you see that? That's because they've used the blocks now from that other project library. So now if I go back to here, right click, properties of my project, schematic libraries, click on the plus. See that's using four, so I'm going to remove that one, and I'm going to remove that one. I now go to add, and I go to browse. I want libraries again. Let's put my IEC2 back in, like so. There it is there, and I'll move that up to the top like so. I want Add again and Browse, Libraries again, IEC2, one dash underneath, and I'll OK that there. And again, move that up so it's underneath IEC2 like that. I'll OK that now. So my project has now updated and we'll use those settings, those library settings again. Now I go back to Swap and Update here. I want Library Swap, Substitute New Versions for All Blocks again, and I OK it. You can see there, look, it's saying IEC4. I can actually browse and do a specific IEC2 change if I want to. I can OK that there. Yes, copy all, old to new, active drawing, and off it goes again. Can you see them updating as they go? Like so. Now you'd think they look different, but they don't, because the scaling for both of those is now the same, because I didn't change the scales in here, in the swap update block. If you look at that now, 
all the information is the same, it's just the block is smaller. So it's easy to swap and update blocks and even swap and update your libraries here in the properties of your project in the schematic libraries here. So I'll just cancel that now. So just work with that and you can swap and update all the blocks for a different library if you need to or you can do them individually. It's your call on how you're working in your particular working environment using AutoCAD Electrical.